Hey, welcome back to Steve's Galley. I have finally got my cookbook back. It's called Getting Your Feet Wet in the Galley by Chef Steve Anderson. This can be purchased online at Lulu. And today we're doing something a little bit different in my galley. I'm going to be preparing a dish, but with one of my friends I haven't seen in 20 years. We graduated from the Culinary Institute in Hyde Park, New York in 1987. And that's Chef Steve and Danielle. He... <laughs> As you can tell, I'm used to working on land, so we're going to do this, and I'm just going to hope and pray that we, that we stay afloat. <laughs> and, and we will. Today, we're going to be preparing a dish together. I'm going to be doing the protein part. He's going to be doing the vegetable part, and I'm going to be do, working with turkey cutlets, and I'll show you what we're going to do, and I'll let Steve explain what he's going to do. Okay. So you're going to be working on the turkey, correct? correct. Okay, and that, that sounds really good. We discussed it earlier. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the spinach dish and create a little bit more. Oh, yes, don't forget about Stephen's book. Uh, and he did mention that if you have a problem following directions in the book, you can go onto YouTube and watch him do this step by step. Just okay. type in Chef Steve Anderson. There you go. It's YouTube. So, again, I really like this book. You can keep it in your kitchen. It's uh, very readily and handy and, and easy to use. <clears throat> and not only the pictures, but the... Uh, the step-by-step -step directions. So, <clears throat> since uh, I'm a chef on Fire Island, and uh, I have a lot of clients, customers, and regular uh, clientele, uh, so I'm constantly running into vegetarian, vegan, lactose. So, Steve's going to be doing the turkey, and I've taken the, the spinach to another a little bit more of a level. I'm going to give it some red onions, uh, uh, julienne plum tomatoes, ginger, avocado, zucchini, and microgreens. So it'll give a little more color, a little more fluff, and I think with the ingredients that you're about to mention, um, the flavors will just melt in your mouth. Yeah, it'll be pretty cool. And we'd like you all to watch this, and uh, hopefully you'll make this dish at home. So what I'm going to be doing is i got two tablespoons of butter. I'm going to be throwing that into my saute pan. And then I have my turkey cutlets. And I'm going to take some chili powder that I have right here, and I'm going to be putting it in with some flour. And I'll mix this up, and that's why I'm going to be dredging my turkey cutlets in. And then I'll be putting that into the saute pan when I have my melted butter. And I have my saute pan on kind of medium heat. You don't want to have it on high heat because you're going to burn your butter. And I'm using butter over oil because it has more flavor in it and I'm doing it in a slower process and when I get these all seared off in my saute pan I'm going to be putting it on a sheet pan put it into the oven to finish cooking and what's left over with my um, fondant that's laid down into the saute pan I'm going to be deglazing and be making my sauce okay so I'm taking my cutlets and I'm putting it down in my pan and it's on medium heat with the butter and I'm going to let this go for about probably two minutes on each side. And then I'll flip it and let it go for about another two minutes on each side. And then I'm going to put it on a sheet pan and I'm going to finish this off in the oven. Alright, so here's my turkey cutlets. I've had them sauteed about two minutes on each side. I'm going to go ahead and put them on a sheet pan. I'm going to put this in the oven. And when I put it in the oven, it is not going to take but maybe 10 minutes to, to finish cooking this. But right now, I'm going to finish my sauce. I'm going to make it in the same pan that I just sauteed my turkey cutlets in. So what I have is I have some port. I'm going to add to the saute pan. And that's probably about three tablespoons. And then I have ghost cheese. And I'm going to be adding the ghost cheese to this. And that is five ounces of ghost cheese. And then I have... Three ounces of heavy whipping cream. Good cut. Okay, so now I'm going to add two Satsuma and I'm going to squeeze the juice out of that. And now what I'm going to do is try to get enough liquid out of these itty bitty oranges. Fancy term, Satsuma. And now I'm going to mix this up and get this all incorporated. When I get this incorporated, this is what's actually going to be going on top of the veal when I'm done. Okay, so I have two satsumas that I have squeezed into here already. Satsuma, it's like a miniature little tangerine or orange. And what I'm going to do is get this all incorporated and get this ghost cheese that I have all blended up with the port. 
and the orange. And get that all. And this is going to be the sauce. It's going to be going on to the turkey cutlet. And so I'll let this reduce down really slow on low heat. And then meanwhile, I'm going to take my turkey and I'm going to put that into the oven. And then we're going to go on to uh, Chef Steve Daniela, and he is going to be working with the spinach. And you know, don't worry about me. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll pull this all together. <laughs> and a couple of glasses of wine, and it's fine. <laughs> Alley of Savannah in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And before I start uh, mention, uh, talking about our spinach dish that is going to complement Chef Steven Anderson's turkey dish, um, or turkey entree, I have to say thank you to Whitney Anderson, who is our producer during all of this. And uh, she's worked diligently on uh, editing and, and producing and, and setting all of this up. Um, and in tribute to Julia Childs, <laughs> there always has to be a glass of wine or vodka or some type of alcohol present. Um, so what I'm going to do is, uh, in, in, in order to complement Chef Steven Anderson's uh, turkey, um, with port wine, correct? Correct. Port wine, blue oh, yeah. cheese, and all of the yummy stuff. I'm going to do um, sautéed spinach with a toasted sesame oil, chopped ginger, fresh ginger, chopped red onion, zucchini, uh, julienne zucchini, and julienne plum tomatoes with organic greens and topped with sliced fresh avocado. Cheers. So, celebrity chef Stephen D. from Fire Island, New York, uh, has joined with chef Steve, executive chef Stephen Anderson of the Savannah, Fort Lauderdale. Um, forgive me. How uh, I'm used to working with gas. Uh, aboard a yacht, uh, you have electric. So, uh, always keep that in mind if you have electric or gas. So, um, I've been drinking some wine, so that will help us through this, okay? Uh, and I always work best when... So I have just added like a tablespoon of toasted sesame oil. And uh, oh, the electric seems to be working quite well uh, since we've kept it on for an hour now. Um, now what I like to do is um, I've taken like a two or three ounces of chopped ginger. Oh, we've got a little sizzle here. We've got a little sizzle. And I, I, I like it because... Um, it sears in the flavor of the ginger. Um, hitting it with some red onion. This is a half of uh, red Bermuda onion. Okay. We have a nice sizzle going here. We have a half of Julian zucchini. Yeah. Oh, we need the hood. We need the ventilation here. We're, we're back, and if you notice, I have my life preserver on. Uh, there was a ventilation issue, and again, Celebrity Chef Steven, you know, just doesn't, you know, I'm on a boat here. So, uh, we are sizzling again. We are sizzling, um, and I'm, I'm ready for any type of emergency. Um, there is a whistle here, but I've been informed not to blow it, okay? Uh, it will alarm the rest of the marina. Um, and then we'll have them all for dinner, and there's not enough food. <laughs> so, um, so we are sizzling. We have our ginger. Well, well, first of all, we have our sesame oil, our toasted sesame oil, our ginger, and our red onion. And we're back in action here. Um, I'm going to hit it with some julienne plum tomatoes. Okay. Uh, that's about one and a half plum tomatoes. And again, I have my life preserver on because I never know what's going to happen and for those of you who know me, um, there's always some type of distraction and uh, uh, e EMT arrival. <laughs> okay, so we're, we, seem to get our, we seem to have gotten our heat back. Now what we're going to do is uh, the last ingredient, which I forgot to put here, um, julienne zucchini. Um, and I noticed uh, there is a ground black pepper here. We always have to ground black, the ground black pepper. Uh, I feel like a tribute to Martha Stewart and Julia Childs. Um, we have some ground black pepper here. Uh oh. We lo oh, look at that. You do not want to bite into one of these, okay? Uh, your dentist will love you. And uh, obviously, you will be. Uh, 
uh, dipping into my bank account on that one. So, <laughs> uh, okay, so we are moving along nicely here. We have a nice saute going. Again, remember, we are working on electric. <laughs> here we go. So now we have a nice saute flavor. We have our pepper, we have our, uh, our oil, sesame oil, our ginger, uh, our red onions, our tomatoes, and our zucchini. We're ready to add the spinach. Okay, this is uh, approximately uh, one and a half bags of cello fresh spinach. And we're going to stir that around, incorporate the flavors. And we're going to let that simmer for a little while. So here we are back on the 118 foot intermarine yacht. Um, and our, our spinach has come together beautifully. The essence of the uh, toasted sesame oil, the ginger, the red onion, the zucchini, um, the plum tomatoes, and the spinach. So now, celebrity chef Stephen Daniello and executive chef Stephen Anderson, uh, we are about to put our plate together, our dinner, our entree. And um, uh, so just bear with us. And I, if you notice, I've taken my life preserver off. We have tied the lines. I have my sea legs back, and everything is back in order, and the bottle of wine is flowing. All right, so what I'm going to be doing now is i got our sauce, and I'm going to be laying it down on the plate. And then I'm going to be taking my turkey cutlets out of the oven, and I have them cooking for about 10 minutes. And so I'll pull them out. And I'm going to place the cutlet down, and then Steve is going to work with his spinach dish on top of that. Chef Steven Anderson has laid the groundwork, the foundation for this amazing dish. Again, remember, we have not been together in 20 years. We haven't talked. We haven't, we haven't really communicated about things. Um, so here we go. We are going to take uh, Chef Stephen's creation, Chef Stephen Anderson's creation, with his sautéed turkey breast and blue cheese and uh, port wine uh, reduction. And we're going to take Celebrity Chef Stephen's spinach, zucchini, tomato, ginger, and red onion creation. And just... Put it together like this, okay? Now, the key to this, and the secret, is, is what, what I try to do is I take ingredients like these organic greens, daikon, radicchio, and add a little bit of olive oil, okay? Oops, I missed. That, that has to do with this wonderful Merlot we're drinking. Um, salt, kosher salt, and ground black pepper. Okay, and we're going to mix it up. Okay. And then we're going to, and now the fresh um, room temperature avocado that's already been sliced. Oops, excuse me. Oops, we're making a little bit of a mess here. However, it's still tasty. Okay. And there you have it. Chef Steven and Celebrity Chef Steven D. Ex extravaganza. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and taste this with all the components together. And the avocado, and the sprouts, and the spinach, and the cutlet. Taste that. Mm. Holy. Okay. That was good. Thanks for watching. See you next week. 20 years. And we can still do it. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.